Yeah, we are starting to recording our uh, second uh, WebEx meeting today, and uh, we uh, you, uh, some of you uh, the, have uh, done very actively uh, to uh, follow uh, the content of this uh, introductory uh, mathematics for AI in English, and uh, we had uh, uh, first quiz, which was due. Uh, on Monday, uh, yesterday, but uh, some of you uh, asked me uh, to extend the period so you can catch up. So I extended uh, the first quiz to uh, the 11 a.m. of this Saturday, uh, September 9th. So uh, all of you who uh, didn't get the 30 point out of 30, have a uh, three, four more days to catch up to got a hundred percent out of those. Is there any question uh, on the quiz? Or, uh, and uh, you have, uh, is there any question? Raise your hand if you do not. Good, then, uh, then uh, we will uh, move on to the uh, next. What other questions that uh, you have? Yeah, we have, uh, and also, also, uh, uh, the uh, I uh, some of the students, some of the students, uh, do we share the content? Yes, we have to. We need to share the content. Yeah, I will share the content. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one other question that uh, some student asked uh, me was. Uh, in the lecture room, Kangi content in here, we have a 14 uh, weeks uh, the lectures and uh, final exams on the 15th week. And uh, I uploaded the English lectures uh, of each class of first, second, and third, and fourth. All are open now. And I added some uh, extra uh, reference uh, lectures uh, in, in in Korean for those uh, Korean students who are not uh, fluent in English. But this is uh, these lectures uh, were uh, given uh, in the last semester, as, uh, but and also it's been it's been, it's been given in in, in Korean. Uh, the, but the, le the level of Korean lectures are uh, based on the uh, Korean textbook, uh, the basic mathematics for uh, AI, which is the second, uh, is a little higher than uh, the uh, the introductory mathematics for AI English book that we are using it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, the, this uh, Korean version of the lectures. But this is only for the difference. So the attendance is not required on those first, those reference lectures on uh, inverse matrix systems and basis and dimension and QRD compositions and those. Uh, those are. You only need to follow the English textbook and the English lectures, which is required to understand. And also, I have made uh, I have made the, uh, the whole uh, lecture uh, note and lab book in this uh, website. I have a Korean version of it too, but this is an English version, so the international student shouldn't have any uh, difficulty uh, to uh, follow. So far, we have covered the first week, basic mathematics for AI. Was there any difficulty to uh, to understand the content of week uh, first week? This was this is important because uh, we need to find the, the eigenvalues eigenvalues uh, in order to understand the singular value decomposition. In order to so, uh, find the eigenvalues, uh, we need to solve the polynomials. We need to solve nth order 
uh, polynomial to find the end eigenvalues of the matrix counting counting multiplicity. And this is a this uh, content uh, tells us how we find it, not by hand, because we cannot find n solutions from n polynomials. It's uh, uh, impossible to find it by hand or by formulas. So we have to use a numerical approach to find the, the approximation of those solutions. Okay, so this gives a, a fundamental solve those numerical method. The code is based on uh, this idea. That, and also, by, in order to find the eigenvector, which is uh, required uh, to understand the, the singular value decomposition, which is the core idea of mathematics for AI, and we need to uh, solve the linear system of an equation, AX is equal to B. Uh, solving linear system of equation, which is covered on fourth week here, finding the set of solutions of AX equal B is required in, you know, to understand the singular value decomposition. Uh, this week, four lectures solving uh, linear system of equations is a basic idea to understand, to get the eigenvectors of a linear system of equations, of a matrix. So, and, uh, and also, also, so, uh, so, if you have any question, understanding uh, this content, you have to ask a question. And also you have to uh, uh, deal with the, uh, the, the uh, you, have to, you have to be able to uh, sketch it, the graph, and you have to be able to find the, the approximated uh, solution of the equations, particularly polynomials. But you can also find the solutions of uh, any, most of the equations that you have learned so far. For the second week, uh, artificial intelligence and matrix, we have introduced uh, data and matrices and order the pair of tuples and uh, uh, vectors in Rn and dimensional uh, space. And also we learned the operations on vectors, which must be very familiar uh, to you uh, because those operations are the ones that you have learned from the elementary schools. That's the extension, generalization of those operations for n-dimensional vectors. Then we defined the matrices and tensors, and uh, tensor uh, can be considered as a three-dimensional matrix. And, and uh, uh, then we learned uh, the operations on matrices, including scalar multiplication and vector addition, and the product of two matrices, and product of uh, three matrices, and many uh, and product of many matrices. It all can be done with these operations. Here, you must, uh, for those who have learned the matrices uh, before in high school or in the college years, you should learn uh, this well uh, to go further. Particularly, and also you have to uh, have an experience uh, to deal with uh, the large size uh, matrices. You have to compute, you have to add or multiply uh, or, uh, the, the large size uh, matrices. You should know the rules. Not every matrix is uh, met, uh, are multiply covered. And we need uh, a certain rule to have a product of two matrices. You should understand those in order to understand the code that you will need, you will use over and over again uh, for to have singular values, uh, decomposition, and the principal component analysis and machine learning. 
has this very basic ideas that we should know here, and that's covered in rules for matrix operations in week two. In week three, now, any questions? Uh, does everybody understand the contents of week one? Raise your hand. And Giri, uh, you may show your face to, to your uh, student, uh, to your, your classmate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any? Is there anyone who? Do, uh, who? I, I, does everybody understand the contents of week one? Please raise your hand. Raise your hand. Uh, Kim Daniel, yeah, should. Excuse me. Alter, fifteen. I should check the attendance. Pardon me. Uh, alter, fifteen. The participation. Here. Okay. Good. Uh, and uh, is there? Uh, the, 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 does everybody understand the uh, contents of week two? Please raise your hand. Understand? Who? Kim Hyo Jung? <laughs> Miss Ki? Do you understand the contents of uh, week two? <laughs> Not yet? I'm still trying hard to understand the contents. <laughs> okay. And I expect you to ask uh, questions. You don't have to answer. You are, you are the auditor. So you, you don't have to worry, but whenever you read the content, uh, if, you, if you find any part that you do not understand, then do not uh, hesitate to ask questions in Q&A, then it will be answered. So you can just okay. follow the content, then eventually you will understand the most of the mathematics that you need, okay? So your role here is make a lot of questions, okay? Then yeah, we thank answer you. your questions. Okay, yeah. next. Part three, week three. This is very, this is a very easy easy concept, uh, uh, which is new. Uh, and uh, here I defined the inner product and norm matrix norm and vector vector norm and the inner product, which can be used uh, for to classify the data. And uh, and I, uh, I introduced the concept of cosine similarity, which is also needed uh, to classify the big logic data in the product. And angle was defined. And also, I gave you the code uh, to uh, compute uh, the angle uh, between any given uh, two vectors in Rn. And uh, who uh, the, I, I, I found that uh, most of you already went through this uh, content. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, 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 is there any questions of the content in uh, week two and three here? Any questions? Kim, Dani? Any questions? Only one question about, but it's probably about week four i guess week four yeah. yeah so the finding the set of uh, uh set of the linear system of equations yes here uh here yeah, about... this is also very easy mm -hmm. the, uh the here the content here is very easy it's very easily written so you won't have any difficulty to go through this one but there is an important thing you should have a confidence to find the all all solutions for AX is equal to B, okay? Not a particular solution, okay? Not two or three solutions. You need to find the whole solution set. Okay, that's the key. In order to do that, the computer code is not, not giving you the answers. You should understand the mathematics to find the solution space of AX is equal to zero, the corresponding homogeneous linear system of equations. Giri, you understand what I'm talking? No? <laughs> Kyunghun, do you understand what I mean? Uh, do you know do you know the corresponding uh, uh, homogeneous linear system of equations AX is equal to zero? 
two a x is equal to b no not really i mean uh, if you have a x is equal to b linear system of equations a x is equal to b like this Week four. Here. Week, ah, we, we have to go week four here. Yeah, week four. We go to week four. Uh, when we have a linear system of equations like this, and you have a linear system of equation like this, AX equal B is here. We we want to find we need to find the solution of this. Solution of this. This is very important, but some linear system of equation has no solutions or infinite many, many solutions. In a few cases, it has a unique solutions. Computer code only give you usually one, one particular solution, not whole solution, okay? But you use and also when it does not have a solution it gives you it tells you that it does not have solution there's no solution but still in in ai you need to find the, the best possible solution among them whether the system has solution uh, has the solution or not even from an infinite many solution you should we should be able to find the best possible solution. In order to understand it, we, we have to study this linear system of equations. From here, we have, we, uh, in uh, the one way that Mr. Mr. Kim Daniel uh, had a, a question was, uh, was this. Yeah. The system, the method here. This is the this is a very most important part of this chapter. If we want to find the, the, the solution set, full solution set of AX is equal to B, if you use a code A dot solve right parenthesis B gives you a, only one particular solution when it has one. When it has a infinite many solution, it gives one particular solution only. Then you solve, you have to solve this homogeneous system AX is equal to zero. This system of equation always have a solution which is a zero vector. Because if we, for any matrix A of A, if you multiply a zero vector here, then AX is equal to zero. It satisfies this homogeneous system equation. It always have a solution. If you find the RR, RREF, RREF of augmented matrix, then, then if you have a identity matrix here, then it has a unique solution. But if the size is different, then you may have a free variables, which means you have infinitely many solutions. Kim Dani, understand? Yeah, however, uh, yeah, so it, in case if I can find reverse row echelon form, it means that I can solve yeah. the equation. That's right. If you can find it, very uh, easy to okay. find the RREF of a matrix A or augmented matrix A, B, okay? It's very easy to find RREF. From this RREF, you, if it has a unique solution, you will have identity matrix. Easy. But if it does not have a unique solution, if it does not have a unique solution, then, then, uh, then, then you need to find the, the you will have the, uh, you will have an infinite solution like this. This, this, this vector is a solution for any real number RNS. The set of all this vector, which can be written here, is a solution space, a solution set for the AX equal B. That's what we have to learn in week four. Here, this set of vectors is a solution space 
not only solution set, this set of vectors, except this particular solution, is a solution space for AX is equal to zero. So you need to find the solution space for AX is equal to zero and with the uh, Gaussian elimination, and you can find the particular solution this with a code. Adding this particular solution and this set of solutions gives you the whole set of solution for AX is equal to B. That's very important. You want to find the optimal solution among those big, many solutions. That's the goal. We, uh, when it has a solution, and also when we do not have a solution, when AX is equal to B do not have a solution, we still need to find the best possible solution. All those, if it has a unique solution, that unique solution. If you have infinite many solutions, then one of the best solution among them. If you do not have a solution, just a best possible solution, which has, a, which has the norm of AX minus B, which means the error. AX minus B, the norm of AX minus B is a vector minus X, vector, which, which is a vector, the norm of vector gives a magnitude. That's the error, isn't it? Isn't it, Park Chun Ho? A, we are solving X, which satisfies AX is equal to B. Isn't it? If there is no such X, then we are looking for X hat, which minimizes the norm of the error, AX minus B. Okay? Yes. All those solution is called the least square solution. If, it has a, if the system has a unique solution, that least square solution that we are looking for is that unique solution. If we have infinite many solution, that least square solution is the best possible solution among those infinite many solution. If there is no solution for AX is equal to B, then the least solution is the solution that makes the error norm of A minus, AX minus B is the smallest, the least. In order to understand the least square solution, we have to go through all this math, uh, mathematics of the first three, four uh, weeks. At the, then, at the, at, uh, at the fifth week, we will learn how to find the least square solution. That's called, that can be considered an optimal solution. And that's what we are, uh, we need in, uh, machine learning and uh, the uh, principal component analysis and uh, the singular ability competitions. So this looks to be easy, but you not only uh, compute those uh, solutions uh, by hand or code, you have to understand the mathematics behind those, the, those what you are doing. So. I, I, I expect you to discuss uh, those ideas in Q&A so all can reach the full understanding of what you are learning and how we're going to use it in uh, AI study. Understand that? Okay, so kyung -hun and uh, hyo -jung and Dani uh, and uh, Tasol and uh, Miss Wang, Jagi, uh, should okay, uh, better get involved. And if you get involved, then while you are talking about mathematics, you will understand the basic ideas of mathematics for AI. Then you will, you all can get the best possible grade uh, from this course. But uh, there are some uh, engineering students who is a junior or senior and all the students who already have learned the, uh, pretty much of mathematics from engineering mathematics or uh, calc advanced calculus and linear algebra, uh, they uh, just uh, 
do not participate in the discussion and uh, and uh, eventually they do re not really understand the mathematics which is uh, needed in artificial intelligence uh, they may uh, fail the course they, they, there will not be much to write uh, in the exams for those students who think he knows mathematics uh, but who don't discuss uh, the real idea to understand Uh, that works in uh, AI and machine learning. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Any questions? Okay. Then yeah, in week five, week three, I told you, and week five, yeah, we will we learn the orthogonal projection and the least square solutions. The, care, the pro, uh, solution for the least square problems. Here, the, we, we, we will learn the orthogonal projections. Uh, you must uh, have heard about the projection, Zhong Saiyong. What is Zhong Saiyong? Kim Tasol? What is Zhong Saiyong? Projection. Jong Hun? Have you yes. heard about the projection? Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, Always, uh, the, uh, the, the, any college entrance examination ask a problem on this projection. We have, uh, it's a very important uh, concept in, uh, in, in AI, AI because we are looking for the best possible solution. The distance should be very small, the least. So, so in, we, we need the shortest uh, distance from a vector which is not on the solution space. So if you if we have a this is a solution space or a solution plane, solution space, and this is a vector which is not not on this solution space, which is from here, then we need the shortest distance, not not here, not there. On like the projection from uh, from uh, from the image from the light, it's right here, here, and the vector is here, and this is the solution space, then we are looking for the shortest distance between the vector and the solution. We need the, so we need the, the concept of projection, not only a projection, or a mathematical concept of the projection, which is the orthogonal projection of n dimensional vector to n minus l dimensional vector space plane n minus dimensional plane vector space and a vector which is not in not in it which is uh, over n dimensional vector to the n dimensional vector space we need the concept of also on our projection to deal with the large size data large size vector large dimensional vector to find the best possible solution. So the mathematics that we are learning in this course is not like what you did in the high school or the uh, on, uh, as, as a foolish, uh, freshman mathematics in college. We are dealing with the not two-dimensional or three-dimensional vectors or small size matrices. We are dealing with the large size data, large size vector, and large size matrices. We need to develop a general idea. You need to understand the general idea of mathematics that you already know for one dimensional or two dimensional or a maximum of three dimensional. But now we are dealing with the vectors of n dimensional and the solutions in the n dimensional among the large data, the best possible solutions. This mathematics is, is uh, necessary to understand those mathematics. So least square problem will be introduced and uh, we, we have to understand the meaning of the least square problems and also on our projections. Then least square a solution will be easily followed with uh, this concept and uh, the solution of AX is equal to B. Then this concept will be used for hub fitting. For many data, you can find the 
the kind of the you can find the pattern with the the equation with all patterns that can be represented as a mathematical function such as a polynomial. So this this is one of the most important concept for AI. In this course, you will learn the least square solutions and how to find it in singular value decomposition, how to simplify the problems of AX is equal to P. A matrix can be simplified as a diagonal matrix. That's the singular value decomposition. That's very important. Computer cannot handle the right size matrix as it is. It will take a couple of years to solve a simple problem, simple problem of large size. But with the singular value decomposition, you only deal with the diagonal matrix. Then com computer can handle the diagonal matrix of a very large size in a second. So that really, that's really a kind of mathematics which gives a life to a computer. So it can be used for AI and machine learning. And then the third thing is a gradient descent method, gradient descent method, which will be covered uh, uh, in about the uh, in the eight weeks, seven, eight, ninth weeks, gradient method. Gradient descent method. That's also kind of numerical method finding the optimal solution. Optimal solution, optimal best. Uh, the, uh, and then we will learn the covariance matrix in order to understand the covariance matrix from the data. We need the, the, the uh, statistical uh, concept. Then, then, then. With those knowledge, yeah, we will learn the principal component analysis and artificial neural network. Okay, those are what we're gonna go. For those who has you are you have have a, a different background, and the, some of you are freshmen, but some of the, your level of the mathematical background are very different. So uh, we cannot achieve our goal by just uh, one side lectures. So uh, this uh, I campus cyber class uh, will be uh, will uh, will be all designed uh, to reach the goal for every one of you by talk about mathematics. So for those who don't know who don't take mathematics who don't take many mathematics course before then they can they may have a lot of questions so they can raise the questions. That's your duty. And then those students who already have learned those mathematics uh, should answer to verify he deserves to have a good grade. And he should answer on those questions. Then some, uh, then some uh, questions may not be complete. Then I will help you to, to every, uh, each of you have a right concept. Uh, to understand the, the right mathematics, which needed in AI. Because if you don't have a solid mathematical understanding, then you, you really don't understand the, 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 how this AI is working. You should have a very clear understanding, not only by hand, not only by computers, but also you should be able to tell those concepts to the others. You have to tell what you want to do to the programmer so they can program it. You should have a good understanding of the mathematics. So you should understand what can be done or what cannot be done. So you should ask the programmer to make a computer code that really deal with your data. That's only possible that you understand your problem is the one, whether your problem is the one that can be done by the help of AI or not. So you should understand that first. If it can be done, if it has a solution, if there is a solution, then you, you should know which 
vessel should be adapted. So you can ask someone or your student or your, your employer your, or your um, programmer to build the code to handle my data with this method, which is guaranteed to give you the answers. If not, computer will waste a lot of time, <laughs> so the computing time that cost you a billion dollars, million dollars of your computing time and money and with no solutions, with no optimal solutions. Those are the things that we need to do. Okay, any other, any questions? So, uh, yeah, you, we, you know how to uh, review the first three weeks of content now, and you know how to get the 100% of the point from your quiz, and you know how to prepare your uh, home, uh, the monthly uh, report, uh, and uh, you know how to prepare your midterm examination. If you uh, have any questions on those, you can freely ask it in Q&A, and I already give you those informations, but still, some of some students are asking the same questions, even they do not even take a look at it, they're just making a, a same question, same questions. Don't do that. Yeah. Make it the question in Q&A, then I will re-answer those questions so all of you understand the, the question and answer clearly so you can go further. Got it? Okay, then, yeah, now you are, we are uh, in the middle of week three, so you understand the, uh, the, uh, the matrix operations, and then uh, you can, you already, uh, the lecture of, of the week four lectures is already open, so you can um, go to the uh, finding the solution set of a linear system of equation, then we will, real, we will be ready to find the uh, best possible solution, one of the best possible, possible solution, which is the least square solution in week five. Okay, then, then yeah, we are getting into the uh, final PBL, uh, the midterm PBL report and the midterm examination. Yes, Kiri, any questions? Okay, Jonghun, any questions? Okay, uh, Miss Wang, Jaki, any questions? Yeah. Oh. If you have any question, just ask in QA. Okay, it will be answered. So, so I can understand that you are following us. You are following the content. Okay. Kim Daniel, you are doing very well. So if you if you have any other question and any question, you can do it. And also, uh, one of you, uh, maybe Daniel, ask the good questions. Plot the code that they are using. Now you have to type the matrices and vectors by hand but you don't really have to do. We, when the, the data size is big, it's time consuming to type those data by hand or copy those data or matrix into the code that you already have. We can call, you can, you can just give an, uh, command to call a matrix or data uh, from the other uh, source, from your PC or from website. So, after you went through this, after midterm examination, yeah, I will let you know how to, to really deal with the large data and, and uh, uh, the, the computing those large size matrices. When we deal with the statistical uh, subject with the statistical uh, data of large size. Mm -hmm. I think uh, then, and I think that we'll do what we uh, wanted to uh, discuss today. Any other questions? Okay, then. Uh, if you ask in English, then I'll answer you in, uh, answer you in uh, English. You, can, you are free to ask anything in Korean, uh, and then I will answer in uh, Korean. Then some of Korean students may translate or give a subtitle of those uh, questions or answers, so the other international students can understand. It will be counted as your uh, academic activity, and also you will be able to uh, use those content in your report, so I can give you the credit on those to give a on your activities. Okay, ask Mr. Park. 
위클리, 아, 위클 2, 위클 3 강의에 보면 이제 한글로 된 강의가 많이 있는데 이거는 이제 참고 자료고 어려운 뭐 내용이고 이거는 굳이 뭐 듣지 않아도 된다고 하신 걸로 기억을 하는데 맞으신가요? That's right. That's right. 근데 관련해서 어떤... 음. 네. Q&A에 그럼 그 한국어 강의 내용과 관련해서 질문을 올리는 거는 상관이 없. 상관 없습니다. 예. 아, 물론입니다. 그거 어차피 그걸 다 알아야 될 내용이에요. So, okay, I will explain what uh, I explain. Uh, as I mentioned before, the content, the English content is the only the lectures that you need, you are required to uh, attend, so to understand it. The Korean lectures, in addition to the in addition to the English lectures, I added the uh, Korean lectures of the last semester, which was given in the the uh, Korean. Uh, uh, the lectures offered in Korean, okay, but the, the lecture used the uh, textbook, the basic mathematics uh, for AI in Korean, and the lectures based on that textbook, okay. Now we are using the English textbook, which is the introductory mathematics for AI, which is uh, written. Uh, uh, more easily for any beginners, even uh, the high school student or the liberal arts student or college of literature student can also understand it. Sports uh, science student also can take, can read, can understand the English book. Yeah. So the, the Korean book has more mathematics. That book was made for, uh, for I, I, I intended it for every student, but some uh, the, some students who uh, didn't take any mathematics, any calculus or linear algebra or statistics in, in, the, in before, they had a difficulty. So, uh, so uh, those, uh, the Korean lectures may have uh, more materials in it, but you are in English lectures, some, so you are, you are spending more time to prepare to read the books and to writing the questions and making a homework and understanding the English lectures. So you already spent pretty much of time. So I'm not, ask, not, I'm not asking you to spend more time to understand the mathematics in, which is written in Korean in English. So you do not worry about those, just follow the English lectures. But as you asked, if you have any questions while you are reading or listening to the Korean lectures, it's all uh, very well related with this and it has a lot of overlap. So your answer, your questions will be answered uh, for any of your questions uh, any, the, in 100%. So Mr. Park shouldn't worry about any, <laughs> anything else. Uh, it's related to the mathematics, not only not only the, the related to the uh, Korean or English uh, textbook, but also you can ask any other questions, any other mathematics, which is related to what we are doing here. It will be also important. Also, in the midterm examination, uh, there is one page that you write the project proposal. Uh, not every, uh, not everybody uh, should have to do the project, real project, if you are busy. But I ask you to think about a, a project which is related to your major or what you are, what you like to do later, which is related to what we are learning in here, what is what is related to the content of the book, Mathematics for AI. So think about the kind of problem that you have interest in, write it down, and then I will teach you how to uh, write a project proposal in a right, in a, in a right way. And I will, I will let you know how to, uh, what's the uh, method, so how to write, how to find the references and, and the steps uh, to do those research for those some, uh, some students who is very well prepared and who want to have a plus or uh, the student who's, uh, who is a senior student who's writing their graduation 
uh, project or thesis, then they may uh, uh, have, uh, finish up those uh, project uh, to use for the uh, next courses for our, our job portfolio or whatever. Then I will help them to complete a project to teach how to write uh, the, uh, the project. But so, so if you ask a question, many interesting questions, then some of those questions can be used to fill out the project proposal page without much extra time. So, Mr. Kyung-un, understand? Yes, yes thank you. Yeah. Uh, 그, 다시 한번 얘기해 주면, 그러니까 여러분들이 그, 저, 어, 어떤 책이건 어, 인공지능과 인, 어, 인공지능에 사용되는 수학에 관한 또에 대한 질문이 생기거나 또는 차, 다른 책에서 보거나 다른 렉처에서 보거나 하면 질문하시고 그리고 질문하면서 우리가 답을 찾아가고 또 내가 도와줄 거고 그리고 그런 문제 중에서 흥미로운 것은 나중에 여러분들이 자연스럽게 프로젝트 프로포절에 문제를 써서 여러분들의 포트폴리오를 만들거나 여러분들의 뭐 좌디 인터뷰에 쓰거나 또는 여러분들 졸업 논문으로 쓰거나 또는 나중에 여러분이 대학원에 가서 그 학위 논문으로 어, 발전시켜도 괜찮, 괜찮으니까 뭐 주, 주저 없이 사용하고 질문하고 이렇게 하라는 소리예요. 오케이, okay. is it clear, Mr. Park? 오케이, okay. then any other question, Mr. Jo Mr. Wang? Miss Wang, Miss Kim, Mr. Kim. Okay, then if you don't have a question, and there is a, the, you should participate, you should do your third week homework as well. So you already well, has been in uh, this uh, the meeting. So uh, each of you may summarize what we, did, the, what we talked uh, in this uh, the WebEx meetings, the two, three lines, simply. Then, some other student may collect those as a one to, so those students who were not in here can understand it in a short time, so the important issues. Understand? 박준호군, 오늘 우리가 얘기한 내용을 뭐 식, 한국, 우리말로 그냥 금방 타이프 치면 몇자쓸수 있죠? 요약을 할수 있겠죠? 예, 알겠습니다. 네, 박준호군이 말 요약을, 요약을 하고 또 뭐, 김효정 양도 요약을 할수 있을 거예요. 이, 이 친구가 박준호 군이 한걸 보면 그 중에 좀 빠진 거라든지 뭐 이렇게 오타가 있다든지 뭐 이런 걸좀 고쳐서 거기다 몇줄더 보태서 요약을 할수 있겠죠? 오케이? 그러면, 그러면, 어, 강, 천경훈 군이 그거를 되게 이제 제대로 하나 정리할 수 있겠죠? Then, if some summary was made by a Korean student in Korean or English, or some summary by uh, the international student in English, then uh, one other one student can summarize all that as a one, then some, then uh, I may translate it in English, or one of you help to translate it some part, some important part in English. So some student who was not in this lecture uh, still can go uh, fast uh, the important uh, issues that we discussed today. Uh, not only this WebEx lecture, but also uh, in a written form, so everybody understand all the important issues clearly. Okay, and also those will be uh, counted as your academic activities, and also it will uh, it will be a part of your uh, monthly report. And uh, I will uh, use those for your midterm examination. If you do, if if you work. If you do uh, to discuss a lot in Q&A, then we don't have, really have to uh, have uh, uh, the, the examination we, because you already, I, but if you do not actively work, then we should have a kind of written examination to figure out whether you understand or not. But in my sense, the written exam does not represent, does not guarantee that you really understand the mathematics that you learn. You use those mathematics uh, for AI. You, I, really, you have to really understand it and you really have to do it by yourself so you can explain what you have to the others. So you, you, those, so that's more important. So 
So in this class, discussion in Q&A and summarize those with a conclusion that you really understand those each question and concept, and then you really do solve the large size problems and find the least square solution by yourself and self SVD by yourself and and show your answers and then explain what it is and what was the difficulty you found when it worked and when it did not work. So you should figure out in those situations why you are going through it. If you have, if you gone through all those, then I guarantee that all of you can have a pass this course. Okay, understand that? Okay, then summarize this course and then uh, we'll see you. Uh, but next Tuesday is a holiday. And so two weeks from now, Tuesday is also the university. So yeah, we may meet. Uh, if you need to see me, then yeah, yeah, so you can ask me so to arrange it uh, together or partially. But anyway, we will meet officially after three weeks from now. Okay, on the, on ten a.m. in the first week of October, on the first week of October, February uh, the Tuesday. 10 a.m. Yeah, we will meet. Okay, then enjoy your third and fourth week, and then see you again. Thank you. Any question? Then uh, go to uh, yeah. the Q and A uh, to make your questions. Oh, any question, Daniel? Who? Oh. No. Okay. Uh, no. Then yeah, ask it uh, in Q and A and summarize it of the, today's activities. Good. Thank you very much and very nice to meet all of you uh, here today and looking forward to, to see your activities in Q&A so I can help you on your questions to make uh, concrete and 100% uh, right answers on each of the questions you made. Good. Okay, bye and enjoy your lunch. Thank bye. you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.